What's up, enthusiasts? Today we are taking a look at this blaster, the origin of the Fabu Strife, and we're seeing if we can fit this Bolt V2 into the battery tray here, which has been causing some problems for me. Uh, despite this very large Blastmas UK battery tray, I've been having issues getting this to fit. And uh, logically, it should fit in there. It, it does, you know, there, there is enough space. I'm just having issues with wire management or something like that. And I realized, let me put these out to the side for now. I realized that I didn't actually go through and remove all of the ribs and everything in here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, tr and start doing that and seeing if, um, if we can get just a little bit more space to maybe squeeze everything in there and hope hope that things will work for us because I really would like to run the nice powerful battery in this blaster while uh, I'm using it because the Fabu Strife proper is um, is going to happen and I'm very excited about it but it's something that has to wait until a couple other things are done. One namely is a Secret Santa project that uh, I am currently working on, which you haven't heard or seen anything of yet because, well, it wouldn't be a secret anymore if I was posting about it. So once that's done, I can go back to work on the Fabu Strife and uh, start making more progress on that, which I am very excited for because, well, it's Fabu Strife. It's fabulous and it's Strife and it should be my go-to primary uh, in the future for 5v5 games. Until then, this kind of origin or prototype Fabu Strife will have to suffice, uh, which, I mean, it has done in the past. It's, it's, it's been a fantastic blaster for me over the uh, last couple of years, which, you know, despite falling behind in terms of technology, this blaster is still still does the job, still does what I need it to do. And so we we messed around with the internals a little bit. If you watch the stream of me soldering the new cage in and we'll, we'll have options for more cages in the future, which is great. Uh, I, I like that we started the process of allowing myself to do that. So that's a, that's a huge, huge plus. Now, a lot of people will remove this section right here. And I'm very tempted to do so. However, got a little bit of a, I guess you would call this a spoiler. Um, Light Take got in contact with me a little while ago, and I think it was like last week or so, and asked if I would like to review the version 3.8 Select Fire Kit for the Strife. And I said yes, because yes. That kit is absolutely awesome looking, and I would love to be able to have that in one of my blasters. And that may go in this blaster. I'm not certain yet if this will, if that kit will go in the Fabu Strife or in this Origins blaster. Um, I just haven't decided yet, and the reason I haven't decided yet is because I think, I'll confirm this when I get it in, but I think part of the kit goes in this area right here and it needs this panel. I'm not certain, I, I feel like something goes right here though. I will check and I will confirm that, but until then I don't wanna get rid of this if it is necessary. And in the Fabu Strife, I do wanna get rid of this so I can more easily put in batteries and have that sleek compact look and not need you know, a big bulky battery tray. So that's, that's the reasoning I've got for, for that at the very least. Um, now, if I could put the kit in, uh, rah, if I could put the kit in the Fabu Strife and have it not need this section right here so I can drum all that out and everything, that'd be amazing. Because uh, I, I am very, very pleased with what I've seen of that kit so far. Though, honestly, I may stick the kit in this first just to see how it performs and, and how, if I like the feeling, I like the responsiveness and all that, and then just buy another one for the future. Uh, that honestly may be the right way to go about it rather than put something experimental into the, you know, Fabu Strife and not 
and be like, I think this will be good, and then get it in and be like, oh, I don't really actually like this. Uh, that would be a major, major bummer, and I, I, I think, you know, as I'm talking, talking through this while we're sitting here, I think, uh, I think that's probably the way to go, is to put it in this strife. Let me know what you think in the comments. I always do enjoy getting everyone's opinions on this. We're making progress here, we're making, making progress, but uh, still a bit to go. Problem seeing is there's like the extra little bits that I can't quite get that are causing a little bit of an issue because you know we want things to be able to lay flat and if I can't get these then it's not gonna be able to lay flat. Yeah, two-handed approach. I also, actually, I need to check and see if my charger has the ability to do the uh, LiHV charges. Uh, you can charge the LiHV batteries just as regular LiPos under the LiPo setting and just it'll charge them to the standard uh, 4.2 per cell rather than the higher voltage for the, uh, the high voltage settings. So you can use it as both, um, but you know, obviously if you can get that extra out of it and you have the charger to safely, properly do so, then that's awesome. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you just wanna use it as the standard LiPo uh, settings on the charger. Like we're making progress. I think I'm gonna need to get a hand file uh, to go in here at some point and clean this up because all these edges and stuff and not smooth parts, I don't really like the idea of uh, shoving the battery in there and being like, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, There's a bunch of edges that could, you know, tear, tear things out, but it's whatever. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If anyone, even here and knows me, you know I worry a lot about just about everything. So you know, I'd rather be uh, rather be safe than sorry. Come on, get in there. This little piece in the edge is just giving me a hard time. Come on. Yeah. Yes. 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 Hey, maybe. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay. Something, something popped out. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's, it's progress. Okay, it's, it's progress again. That's, that's a, a decent amount of plastic we've pulled out of here, but doesn't really inherently solve the problem because it's not finished yet. So we're, we may have to finish this and let's, let's see if we can get this big piece out here. I don't even think the hand file I have will work for this because the tip of it is not, um, <laughs> the tip of the hand file I have isn't actually a file. Oh my goodness, that was almost, Almost very bad. The thing I've been trying very carefully to not do, I almost did. Make sure nothing is, nothing's cut, nothing, okay. It's like these wires are always concerning me with the, the snips right here. I don't, I don't wanna cut those wires. That, um, it's not the ideal course of action. But it is something I could very well see myself doing on accident because, well, I'm, I'm just that talented. Just that talented. <laughs> All right, um, so we'll just keep, just keep attacking it. That's really all we can do until we reach a point where uh, we're feeling good about where we're at. Oh, ooh. Thankfully, we don't, you know, puncture through this into the internals of the blaster. That would be just a tad awkward. Just a smidge. Just, oh, uh grind this out 
these plastic tabs are in such like it's so hard to get the snips in there to like cut them out because there's just almost no space to do so on one side and that's just plain rude it's just plain rude it's progress we've made progress not like we're not i don't think we're there yet but we're making progress let's just let's see so the problem is when we plug the battery in we go in like this and we don't really have a good way of keeping everything intact in and it doesn't want that just break the I may have just uh-oh 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 okay so this is uh this is feisty I think uh, I think think yeah we can say this is this is a feisty little uh, battery that doesn't doesn't necessarily want to cooperate with us. How can we make it cooperate? Will this work? Does that it Why is it at an angle? What? Why are you at an angle? What is the... I don't understand. I don't understand. Like this should... This should work, right? Right? Ugh. Get in the hole. It... Uh, really doesn't want to get in the hole. Bumping this. I uh, really don't want to shove a screwdriver in there, but I'm just trying to push the connectors into a better spot. It's so, it just, it refuses to go in properly. What is the, what is the logic here? What's your major malfunction? Let's, let's, Let's try this. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. I, I lifted, lifted that up a bit and then we, then we do that and, and then no, and then no. Uh, all right. Okay. Why? Like, I wish this was a, a clear plastic a battery tray expander so I could see exactly what is happening because like I have a thought of what's happening but I don't have like I can't confirm or deny what is happening so what I think is happening is that this connector is wedging itself between this spot right here and the battery, and so the battery is tilting out, preventing this from seating properly. So if I can lift this above and shove the rest of the wires around like this, then I logically should be able to move the battery in, allowing more space and everything for the other parts, right? Like that's that's the, 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 the thought process at least. Whether I'm right, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So let's, let's put that up there. And then all of this, and then all, of, and then all of this, and then none of this. Just get it, get, oh, hope, oh, hole, oh, maybe, <gasps> uh-oh, that was a crack. Okay, I mean, uh oh. Well, we 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 got it. 
question mark? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know that we can call this a success if we had to break the battery tray expander to get it to work, but I think my theory was right. I think my theory was right. I just think I, um, I broke it trying to force it in. So I think I need to get like a, I don't know. I need to get a new one of these. <laughs> we know that much, but I, I will continue the quest for um, making this battery fit. And maybe we'll, maybe this will be another episode when we, when we try and find another route to make this work without breaking a battery tray expander. But um, yeah, I guess we'll call this a, a, a successful failure. Yeah, yeah, successful failure because we got information but we had to break something uh, that we'll have to repurchase and um, didn't quite completely solve the problem. So a successful failure. Let me, let me know your thoughts on this, this endeavor in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.